in a decisive move against the menace of illicit alcohol and drug abuse, Deputy President Gadi Gashagwa hosted a pivotal high-level meeting unveiling new measures to tighten control over the alcoholic drink sector. The government is gearing up to amend the Alcoholic Drinks Control Act, aiming for better traceability and enhance enforcement, as Abdi Samed Mohamud now reports. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa led a multi-agency meeting at the official residence in Karen, focused on intensifying the fight against illicit alcohol and drug abuse. This gathering brought together key figures, including Principal Secretaries Raymond Omolo, Hari Kimtai, and Terim Baika, as well as officials from the Kenya Revenue Authority and other regulatory bodies. Since the adoption of stringent measures in March 2024, the authorities have been active. Over 65,000 raids have been conducted, resulting in the arrest of over 30,000 individuals and the seizure of substantial quantities of illicit alcohol. The Ministry of Health has also issued directives for establishing rehabilitation wards in level 3 hospitals and above, further supporting those affected by substance abuse. Among the key updates, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board has conducted 408 inspections, leading to the closure of 150 premises and ongoing prosecutions for non-compliance. The proposed amendment to the Alcoholic Drinks Control Act will enhance traceability of raw materials and finished products, a move set to bolster enforcement efforts. This proposal is now part of the government's omnibus bill, currently under review by the Attorney General. Abdul Samad Mahmoud, KUTV.